It was a snowy Christmas Eve. Inside a small garage was a remarkable car, a blue Austin Heavy 12-4 with brass lamps. It was Gumdrop. Mr Oldcastle was filling the radiator with warm water, ready to fetch the Christmas turkey. Horace couldn't wait. He loved turkey. Suddenly there was a booming voice. Ho, ho, ho! Mr Oldcastle nearly dropped the can. It was Father Christmas. Can't you recognise me? I'm your neighbour, Bumblebee, pretending to be Father Christmas. Could you give me a lift to the village hall for the party, please? The sleigh and reindeer are already there. A reindeer? asked Mr Oldcastle. Well, it's really Farmer Hearn's pony in disguise. By the way, better call me Father Christmas today in case I forget. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. They climbed into Gumdrop and Mr Oldcastle pressed the starter, but nothing happened. Oh dear, the starter's finally broken, he complained. He had to start Gumdrop using the starting handle. Everybody in the street smiled when they saw Gumdrop with Father Christmas in the back, booming, ho, ho, ho. Mr Oldcastle promised to pick him up after tea. First, Mr Oldcastle drove to the toy shop. He left the engine running to save starting with the handle again and asked some children to guard Gumdrop. He bought presents for his grandchildren and little presents for Gumdrop's guards. He then drove to the garage to try to find a new starter motor. Again, he left the engine running, but this time someone jumped into Gumdrop and drove off. Stop, thief! cried Mr Oldcastle, running after him. Then, unexpectedly, Gumdrop slowed down and stopped. The thief got out. Forgive me, he said. I used to own a car like this. Driving it has made my Christmas. Mr Oldcastle couldn't be angry with him, but in future he would switch off the engine. The garage didn't have a starter motor, so Mr Oldcastle went on to the butcher's. He collected the turkey, then the butcher and his customers push-started Gumdrop. Mr Oldcastle delivered his grandchildren's presents, had tea and played games, then went to collect Mr Bumblebee. Halfway there, they met him. Farmer Hearn's pony looked just like a reindeer. Hello, Father Christmas, said Mr Oldcastle. He hadn't forgotten what Mr Bumblebee had asked him. Why is your pony, um, <coughs> reindeer, limping? It appeared that he had a splinter in his foot. They left the sleigh and went to see the vet. People stared at Father Christmas and the pony in the car. Father Christmas waved, but didn't once shout ho, ho, ho. The vet would need a little time to remove the splinter. Why did you say this was a pony? The vet asked Mr Oldcastle. We <clears throat> must deliver some more presents, Father Christmas said quickly. We'll call back for the reindeer. It was now getting dark. I say, Father Christmas, you do take your job seriously chuckled Mr. Oldcastle. Of course I do, Father Christmas said solemnly. I must never disappoint the children. Stop here, said Father Christmas. He marched to the house, climbed up and dropped a parcel down the chimney, then the next house and the next. Mr. Oldcastle was appalled. Mr. Bumblebee was really overdoing things. It's a good job no policemen are about. Father Christmas was silent. Not one ho, ho, ho. Then they returned to the vet. Father Christmas said they must hurry, as they had a very long journey ahead of them. Mr Oldcastle looked very puzzled. As they settled into Gumdrop, the engine stopped. Never mind, said Father Christmas, we'll give you a push-pull. Gumdrop started again at once. They found the sleigh and hitched up the reindeer. Thank you for all your help, said Father Christmas. I don't know where we would have been without your beautiful car. What would you like for Christmas? A new starter for Gumdrop, said Mr Oldcastle without thinking though he knew it was silly to ask Mr Bumblebee for one. Father Christmas just smiled and pulled one out of the sack. Mr Oldcastle couldn't speak. He just got out his tools, slid under the car and fitted the new starter. It was perfect. When he got up to say thank you, Father Christmas and the reindeer had vanished. It had begun to snow when he heard ho, ho, ho. It was Father Christmas again, but now the reindeer looked just like a pony. Where have you been? asked Mr Bumblebee. I've been waiting for ages at the village hall. Here was Mr Bumblebee with the pony. So could that limping reindeer have been real after all? Was the Father Christmas who gave Mr Oldcastle the starter motor the real Father Christmas? Horace looked as though he knew the answer perfectly well. <laughs> ¶¶
Thank you.